All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of the cool stuff for the end game in Ark. You may recognize some of the stuff. I'll explain in a second, but um, basically, yeah, we're, the tech tier is coming. We'll need element, which is this stuff right here. I've displayed that all over the floor in case you forget. Um, so we're gonna need that stuff, and uh, obviously, you know, we need to kill the end game bosses. So we're gonna be taking a look at these guys in a second. But before we do, make sure that you guys beat the absolute crap out of that like button if you do find yourself enjoying this video, and um. Yeah, a lot of people in a previous video that I did, I showed a picture of this and said, hey, no, this is coming to Ark. This is going to be probably one of the endgame bosses. And um, a lot of people are like, hey, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's actually the dragon from Ark Comes Alive. Get your facts right. Well, no. <laughs> this is actually from the Ark dev kit. And TB, who's the mod dev of Ark Comes Alive, he, he takes the models from the Ark dev kit like most other modders. And, uh, you know, you kind of fiddle them around and he changed shades on different ones. And I think he still has one with this color. But, um, yeah, no, like, he, he didn't create these. <laughs> these are actually coming to Ark. Believe it or not, but yes, uh, it's gonna be freaking amazing once we actually do see this into into the game But basically the theory is behind this is that it is actually going to be all the same creatures So as you can see there is a wyvern right here and it has like a like a red sphere as like a heart I guess or maybe an energy source the megapithecus right here is the exact same thing now the dodo doesn't have that So maybe this is the final boss or something and then there's like a cyborg t-rex. That's what it's called um, over there, which is kind of weird messed up face. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe what it is is that see this like the little heart thing in there Maybe that is like the first form or maybe this is the first form Then it turns into a wyvern and then it goes to like a dodo because like this thing's fully red obviously so and it doesn't have a heart so possibly either this is the first or last boss because maybe this thing compacts down and turns into a Megapithecus and then it, you know, it transforms into a Wyvern after you defeat that one. Or maybe it goes from Megapithecus to Wyvern and then the heart splits up and creates a new creature called like a Tech Dodo or something. I don't even know. But yeah, they look so cool and they have a really cool um, animation to them as well. The way that it kind of just shifts like that. It's really, really amazing. But uh, obviously, you know, guys, these things aren't really that new. I just thought I'd talk about them because to get element, which I've explained in a previous video, you need to kill the end game bosses and po possibly other bosses as well. It didn't really specify. But um, from what I've seen is that uh, the end game bosses, the higher tier bosses that you do kill, you actually will get more element. And my source for that is the PC Gamer magazine. You guys can read that if you want to. Um, so yeah, basically we're gonna need element to make the texture stuff and if we kill one of these guys We're probably gonna get a hell of a lot now the theory that they're all the one creature is you know That's just a theory They could easily be three separate creatures with maybe the dodo being the last one I kind of feel like a dodo would be the last one considering its arc. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just kind of feel like it might be now you may also be wondering, hey, where's the Broodmother one? Where's the Dragon one? Where's the Manticore one? Well, you know, we, we could possibly get those at some point. I don't even know. But uh, these ones have been in here for quite a while. There hasn't been anything new added. And they are under a file called Test Michael. Uh, so Michael, one of the Arc devs, is obviously working on these. So yes, we're, we're going to need to kill these things. And uh, they're probably at the very end of the tech caves, which is something that they have kind of announced a little while ago. They haven't really talked about it too much, um, but I imagine we're probably going to be getting those at some point soon. Probably, I, I really hope before the release of the game, because I really want to find out what all this stuff is about, you know, because it really, it just, it kind of boggles me, you know, like what is Ark and what are these creatures? Like all the other creatures are made out of like, Flesh and bone and then there's these things and it's like what the hell like what even <laughs> These are obviously something to do Maybe that thing in the center is like their power source and maybe that's also stuff that powers arc as well because I have over here If you guys have went into the new caves you guys have probably seen that there's like the walls kind of shift between material like as in like a stone or whatever to like a metal and it's kind of looks like it's a hologram now they also have these things in here too these are like called alien pillars now alien might just be a placeholder name so don't get it wrong and, and think that oh hey aliens are doing this it could be something else although it probably is aliens um so yeah these these things were in there as well which is super cool um i'm kind of guessing that these are probably from the tech caves though because like We've seen stuff like this, but you know, it's all covered up in rock and it doesn't really move like that. 
So I imagine that these are actually from tech caves. So what they've kind of talked about before is that possibly at the very end of a tech cave you might have a boss. So maybe there's like a bunch of tech caves and you have like a bunch of different bosses or maybe it's just one tech cave and we have like a final end game boss where we have to defeat him three times which sounds impossible because some of the normal bosses that we have now are really hard to kill. <laughs> I don't know but like it's it's really it's it's intriguing I gotta say definitely. Um, couple of other cool things here is the cyborg t-rex which i mentioned a second ago this thing's kind of weird i don't really understand it too much uh, and i scaled it up here but i'm not sure if i scaled it high enough um, because his head's kind of messed up but uh this is what it looks like when you put it in a little bit confusing i imagine that this bottom piece right here is probably the bottom of the jaw and then that top piece is probably the top piece of the jaw like or maybe the snout or whatever it's called but I don't know what's up with the rest of it, but it's like it's made out of like little pieces of metal that are just floating around. And like besides the very top, it resembles a T-Rex. And oh dude, the legs look cool. Look at that. <laughs> These animations are fantastic. I cannot wait to see how much people lag with this stuff. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh dude, that's awesome. Okay, so let's go over here and check out some other stuff here. Basically, I just threw on some cool animations that I found or instances they're not really animations i guess basically this is what material like this is one of the i guess animations for material um it can go from like one instance to another you see it goes from like a solid material like that to just turning into all of this this random stuff that's going around everywhere um but this is apparently going to possibly be on some sort of material or item or maybe even creature in the game it's really really cool looking <laughs> Like, as you can see, I just threw it onto a tech uh, chess piece and it like reforms and then it just breaks up and like goes into this massive swirl of just everything. It's crazy. <laughs> so then over here, I have another one. This is just a, uh, it kind of just shifts a little bit like that. As you can see, it's like, you know, it, it's, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. Let's hop in here and have a look. Wait, we got a, nope, nope, there, there we go. Oh no, you get like a little bit cold. You feel a little bit of a draft in there occasionally. <laughs> it's so cool though. I wonder what this is going to be used for though. Is this going to be for a creature or is this going to be for like walls or something in the tech caves? I don't even know. It's it's really strange. This one is supposed to liquefy, but it doesn't seem to do it yet. Maybe it's not finished. It doesn't even move like even a tiny bit. <laughs> and then this one, I actually threw the same animation from the wyvern, I believe, onto a check, onto a test. What? Onto a tech chess piece. There we go. <laughs> if I could speak, that would be great. So you can see. I mean, it kind of reforms for a second, but it doesn't really hold it. Looks super cool, though. And then this is something else that I found. I think this was called just a crystal. Um, now, I don't think these are actually anywhere in the game, but it looks really... It looks like something that you would find inside of a tech cave. It's kind of like, I don't even know, like a box of obsidian? It doesn't look like crystal at all. I don't know, maybe Crystal and Obsidian had like a, a resource baby or something? Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, this is co- oh, no, I thought we were actually inside. <laughs> That's cozy. Um, But yeah, I don't know, I kind of feel like that type of thing would actually be inside of these tech caves. But uh, yeah, I don't really, like there's no confirmation as to what the tech caves will hold, but uh, they did kind of mention that there would be bosses at the end, so I'm just going to take it that some of these guys will be in there. They also mentioned that there's another boss coming to Ark before the launch. Now, is it going to be one of these, or is it going to be something different altogether? Let me know down below, and uh, let me know what you think of this super freaking derpy looking cyborg T-Rex. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I don't even know, like, this one looks a little bit more normal, but still not really. I mean, his face is kind of okay, if that is his face. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's actually going to be it from me today, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you beat the absolute crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more, you can subscribe, we got plenty more videos on the channel, you guys can check those out if you want to. And uh, let me know what you think about the whole theory with the bosses, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time.